Why was it a controversial decision, and almost a bad decision outright, that Yoda, the Grand Master at the time, trained a young Dooku? And what were the lasting consequences of this master and apprentice relationship? Greetings, curious acolytes of the Force, and welcome to the Archives. The Jedi Master turned Sith Lord Dooku has one of the most interesting pasts of almost any character in all of the lore, and especially within the Jedi. We get to see a great deal of his past in many works, such as the novel Dooku Jedi Lost, as well as the Tales of the Jedi miniseries. In it, we discover that Dooku is a largely misunderstood Jedi that ended up falling to the dark side after getting repeatedly shortchanged by the Jedi. He is quite similar to Anakin Skywalker in that way, in the way that he became disillusioned with the Jedi. But of all of the Jedi, the one that caught the greater fury of his ire would be his own master in Yoda. The relationship between Yoda and Dooku was always a strained one, even before Dooku's eventual fall. The Grand Master of the Order had chosen his apprentice in the young Dooku, and when this happened, it was the talk of the Jedi Temple. In fact, the largest reason many talked about this in the first place was because of how controversial of a decision it was, and for the Grand Master to actually take on an apprentice, and especially a young Jedi like Dooku. So, come along with us today, my friends and acolytes, as we open up yet another holocron, and discover why Dooku's apprenticeship under Yoda was met with such controversy by the Jedi. To understand this, we'll first need to turn the clock back to Dooku's youngling days. As a toddler, Dooku's manifested force sensitivity frightened his father, Count Gora of Sereno. Dooku's father highly disliked the Jedi, did not want his son being like them, and so, he decided to abandon the young child and leave him to die in the cold. Jedi Seekers happened to find him, and brought the infant into the Jedi Temple to be trained as one of them. Thrown out and betrayed by his father and family, Dooku was now on the path of a Jedi. Dooku would grow up in the temple having extremely vague memories of his homeworld, but amazingly still remembered the aristocratic nature of his upbringing as he carried himself in a very refined manner. His striving for success also put him far beyond the other younglings of his time as he dedicated himself to the study of the Force, and more importantly, of the Blade in a way that no other student committed themselves to. Because of this, he mostly isolated himself, but still had a friend in the Jedi Sifo Dyas. Dooku's nature and excellence stoked the jealousy of a few of the other Padawans who took to caressing Dooku, but Dooku always refrained from lashing out at them because he simply knew that he was better, and that this would only belittle himself. One day, the youngling pack would all be taking a field trip to the world of Sereno, Dooku's home planet, where they were given a demonstration on behalf of the Jedi Order. The field trip was headed by Grandmaster Yoda and the Jedi Terra Sanube. During this trip, Dooku would get into trouble as he would actually once again meet his actual family, including his father Gora. However, the Count scorned the boy, and then Dooku would be abducted, though he was managed to rescue by none other than himself and the help of a few of his friends, doing so by dipping slightly into the dark side against his captors, touching the dark side for the very first time in Dooku's life. Following this, the young boy was distraught, and Dooku eventually approached Grandmaster Yoda about the truth of his upbringing as a Jedi, and the Grand Master divulged the whole story about how his father gave him up, and attempted to even kill him as an infant. Later on, upon returning to the Jedi Temple, sifo and Dooku would let their curiosity get the better of them, when the two young Padawans snuck into the forbidden section of the Jedi Archives, where all of the dark side artifacts, holocrons, and texts were stored. This would be Dooku's second run-in with the dark side, as he ended up coming into contact with one of the artifacts that accosted him with visions that frightened and shocked him to his core. Visions of what he believed could be the future. Dooku lashed out with the Force, and ended up injuring sifo and alerting the Jedi Librarian to their mischief. After being given a lecture by Yoda as well as the Librarian, the two younglings were given discipline, and that is when Dooku would meet a Jedi Master by the name of Lene Kostana. Initially, the young Dooku was wary and very mistrustful of the Jedi Master after she would refer to Yoda as a little goblin, which actually offended Dooku. After which, she had slipped sifo a book that was written by a Sith Lord, a Sith Lord by the name of Darth Kaldroth. This alarmed the young Dooku even further, who began to suspect that Kostana was secretly a Sith Lord, and Dooku tried to convince his friends to tell someone about it. 
However, Sifo-Dyas refused. Taking matters into his own hands, Dooku confronted the Jedi Master on a balcony of the Jedi Temple, interrogating her to figure out why she gave his friend a Sith manuscript. She said to the young Dooku that this had all been a test, though Dooku sensed a great deal of frustration and anger in her, which he believed legitimized his theory. The two engaged in a short duel, during which Master Kostana played an act of goading Dooku, using the tale of an ancient Sith Lord named Darth Sakaya as a lesson by comparing Dooku's curved hilt lightsaber to the Sith's own weapon, saying that they were mirrors of one another. The Jedi Master, though, quickly lost control of the situation as Dooku attacked her with a savage fury, beating away her defenses and nearly killing her. Keep in mind, Dooku is barely a Padawan yet, and he has just defeated a Jedi Master in single combat. Luckily, Yoda intervened and stopped the young Dooku before he slew Kostana, after which Yoda revealed that Kostana was in fact not a Sith, but a Jedi Master, a Jedi who specialized in the study of the Sith Lords. Master Kostana had a penchant for testing young Jedi to see if they would fall to the dark side with bait, which was a practice that Yoda heavily disapproved of. Funnily enough, after this moment, Dooku and Kostana would become very good friends, and Dooku would look up to her as a mentor figure, as well as an avenue to learn of the Sith, as he was fascinated by the Sith studies in his own right, and he wanted to become her apprentice. The darkness beginning to peer out of Dooku. Eventually, the day came for the younglings to pass their initiate trials and be selected by their masters to become Padawans. Dooku was first in his class, passing the initiate trials with flying colors, going so far as to defeat sifo in a sparring match, while blindfolded and having one arm tied behind his back, literally. Despite this, sifo was chosen by Kostana first as her apprentice. This act greatly confused and angered the young Dooku, because of the reputation that Dooku had already gotten for himself. A young boy with a great deal of anger and promise, but still, this was highly intimidating, and none of the Jedi Masters present wanted Dooku as an apprentice, seeing him as something of a liability and too much of a risk. This is all starting to sound very familiar, by the way. Finally, though, the Order was shocked when Grandmaster Yoda stepped forward and claimed Dooku as his new apprentice. This was practically unheard of, as hardly any Grandmaster ever took apprentices, and especially someone as high risk and highly skilled as Dooku, a youngling who had already shown quite an aptitude for the darkness. However, Yoda saw it something as a challenge, and he believed that he was the best person for the job of training the young Dooku, and honing him into becoming a great Jedi despite everything else. Yoda knows Dooku's connection to the dark side was very strong, and more than this, Yoda knew that Dooku knew a lot about his family, which gave him emotional baggage. With that said though, the Grandmaster was confident that the young boy would make an exceptional Jedi if given the proper training and given the chance. The young boy was powerful, far more powerful than he probably even knew at that point in time, so there was no doubt that only Yoda could train him. And honestly, we believe Yoda was correct, Dooku grew up to be an outstanding Jedi, making it to Mastership and even having prospects of being on the Jedi Council. Dooku's fall to the dark side had relatively nothing to do with his upbringing or his time as a youngling. What I mean is, for the most part, it wasn't Dooku's own lusts of failings that brought him to the dark side. The blame for his fall rests squarely on the shoulders of the Jedi Council, who failed him and the Republic time and time again. Now, obviously everyone is responsible for their own deeds and own choices, but Dooku was brought to a dark place because of his circumstances, rather than the strength of his character. And that is a lot more than we can say for many dark Jedi and Sith. The reason many in the Order found Dooku's apprenticeship under Yoda controversial was not only Yoda breaking a several thousand year tradition, but also exactly who he was breaking it for. This was a youngling that was known by now as the one who attacked a Jedi Master, and we all know how rumors spread. Important details get left out, so no one really knew that it was Kostana who had goaded Dooku into doing so. Nevertheless, this was the reputation that the boy now had. But anyway, my friends and acolytes, what do you think of this story and the very origins of Count Dooku? For those of you who have not read Dooku Jedi Lost, did you know that this actually happened? And did you think that Grandmaster Yoda having an apprentice was a strange thing and a mistake? Let us know your thoughts and opinions down below, and as always my friends, may the force be with you, and we hope to see you soon.